Describing my work is always quite a challenge. I normally just show people pictures. I describe it as kind of a collaborative hybrid of dance and music and photography and technology all kind of synergized together into this melting pot. My process in creating bodies of work and images is very much intuitive and comes from a place of instinct. I'll just start sketching something out and then it's sort of a matter of almost like reverse engineering of how do I take what's in my mind and put that on a piece of film or put that on a digital sensor, uh, make it tangible. The word Anahata is a Sanskrit word which translates loosely into unstruck or unbroken or uh, also the sound of the celestial realm. The word came to me happenstantially and I was wondering if it was even a word and I looked it up and I was like, well, that's exactly what I'm doing. One of the main things we were trying to address and speak to is the universality of human experience that we're all a lot more similar than we may feel. There's this eternal place that we can all tap into and this is what it looks like for me. I wanted to create something that was an all-encompassing experience that people could really step into to surround and hit every part of the senses to a degree that an installation allows for. I have a long background as a traditional silver gelatin printer as well as a pigment printer and originally it was going to be an exhibition of pigment prints. It was really just a big experiment. We rented a room in an old house in Germantown and made a makeshift studio, just lined the walls with velvet. I feel like Edward hands. It was a lot of just talking to people and proposing this seemingly outlandish idea and seeing who it resonated with. It all just fell into place in a magical sort of way. We appreciate similar things that art can offer as a vehicle for communication and expression, but we also appreciate you know, the beauty side of it too. I've always been very into the human figure as an expressive element, especially the female form, and how that can mimic different aspects of nature. Yeah, snap your fingers. Let's go. Bah. Bah. I had no previous experience working with dancers. My idea and conceptualization of dance was very narrow. Being a mover, I was really interested in how that can translate to photography. When you're a dancer and you're performing on stage, timing is kind of related to the people around you and to music. Where this, per se, was not to music, it was kind of an internal timing and a relationship with the camera. I remember one of the shoots, we go in and he was like, we're gonna paint you an orange. And I was like, paint me an orange? You know, like, who knew? And I was covered in this latex paint, which then, to my surprise, I couldn't really move in. Luckily, all the dancers we have worked with have been amazing and so flexible and understanding. We did this photo shoot where the movement of the dancers was supposed to be very restrictive. And I based my designs off old medical devices and even like medieval torture devices. So the point of it was to constrict their movement even to the point of pain. The reason why the costumes and the body painting are so colorful and the final images in black and white is we wanted to enhance the three-dimensional space. And when using UV body paint, you use different colors and they offer a different tonality to the image. 
all the dancers and models and the costumes are all sensitized to just bioluminesce under black light and that effect is uh, crucial to creating ethereal kind of ghostly trails. There's a lot of misconception that there's a lot of Photoshop work or post-production work, which there is, but it's within the realm of traditional exposure and contrast and, you know, what you would do in the dark room. So here, you're just matching sort of the choreography of the dancers with the choreography of the lighting. We had assistants kind of moving around with mobile flashes, so it's very much a performative element. The first showing of Anahata, we just wrapped the entire gallery in black felt and made the walls extremely dark so the images were appearing and receding like apparitions to allow the viewer to have this internal meditative experience. I want to make things as um, adventurous as I can and, and, and push as many boundaries as I can. I want people coming out of a show to just experience that sense of connectedness, just to feel a little bit less alone in the world.